What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to burn an ISO image, um, a file with the format .iso. Um, basically an ISO image is a almost one-to-one -one copy of what you would get if you pulled uh, all the data off, let's say like a CD or a DVD, uh, Blu-ray, um, could possibly be you know, some other format like a hard drive. Um, but uh, basically let's say you downloaded a uh, download a file, a zip file, you unzipped it, and you end up with an ISO file. Um, what you're going to want to do with that ISO file, most of the time, is burn it to a DVD or a CD. Um, here I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, going back, uh, one of the first videos that I did was how to remove Windows passwords uh, from Windows XP, Vista, or 7 um, using a program called uh, Offline NT Password and Registry Editor. Um, I give them the links. Uh, I'll put them down here in the bottom too. But um, well, basically, what, what you uh, what you had to do was you had to download this uh, zip file, and once you open up this zip file, uh, it contains an ISO. We'll go ahead and drag it to the desktop here. Um, now this ISO, we don't. A lot of people get this and they're like, okay, what, what am I supposed to do with this ISO? It doesn't do anything. You, you double click in and it, it probably won't do nothing. Um, in Windows 7, uh, looks like looks like you can't burn ISOs from Windows 7, so that's good news. Um, but what a program that I like to use, um, real popular, is called Image Burn. And uh, go to imageburn.com, go to download. I'm like download from beta news you can pick any of these of course uh, we'll download it here and this is going to allow you to burn pretty much any kind of image and there's different images too there's you got dot ISO um, and there's there's about a dozen other ones you got bin and cues um, you got a lot of different stuff um, but uh uh, the main one that we're focusing on now is uh, as ISOs. Um, sorry about my firewall here, <clears throat> but uh, basically this image burn is going to allow you to burn anything. You can also create ISOs from uh, current disks that you have. So if you have like a CD that you want to back up because you want to keep safe or whatever, and um, you just want to have a one-to-one -one copy, you can create an ISO, and that way, you know, if you ever want to go back and you want to burn it again, you can you can burn it. Just have just one file uh, to burn that disk. Uh, be careful in installing this. A lot of this, uh, these new installers are BS. Uh, adding in all this extra stuff that you don't want. That most people just click through. <clears throat> all right. Close. Oh, we have image burn installed. Let's go ahead and right click on this ISO <clears throat> and say open with and you don't have to but we'll go ahead and do this choose default program uh, we'll go ahead and click image burn and make sure this is connect uh, checked always use a selected program to open this we'll say okay so it's going to open this image in image burn now I don't have any this is a virtual machine that I'm running off of uh, so I don't have any it's not detecting any of my my DVD uh, burners or CD burners but what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your blank disk in there uh, in your CD burner uh, you're gonna select the disk uh, or select the drive um, it should automatically be be selected if you only have one um, if you have more than one select the one that you want to burn to of course and then just hit burn and um, let it go um, it's gonna burn the disk for you burn everything you need on that disk and it'll let you know what it's done when it's done um, you can you can play that disc just like any other disc that was pressed in a factory somewhere um, a lot of times like this one in particular the uh, NT offline uh, password and registry changer it will be bootable um, so you know if you're booting from you know Dell you can uh, hit F12 at the boot screen uh, boot off the disc um, if uh, you use an HP you can hit escape uh, choose uh, boot drive and choose the CD-ROM uh, remove those passwords, whatever you got to do, but that's uh, that's how you burn an ISO image. Um, if you got any questions, put them in the comments, and uh, hope this helped.